So today's video is going to be a halloween -y video and I have a spider on my finger but it's not a real spider, it's a ring spider and I really like it even though it's just a plastic spider. I also have devil ears on but you can't see them so it just looks like I have some fluff coming out of my head so I'm gonna take them off. So I spent my day yesterday making some food in the shape of Halloween things and it wasn't very fun because I'm really not very good at DIY videos and if I learned one thing from that video it's that I should never do them again because it was really stressful, really hard and I don't even know if the video is very good so... I basically took some ordinary food and made them look scary and I really hope you guys enjoy the video because it took me ages and yeah, yeah, yeah. Haha. Uh -huh. Stay tuned to the end if you'd like to see me trying them because I've got them here now and I haven't tried any of them yet so I thought I'd try them for you on camera because I thought that might be fun so stay to the end if you want to see that but for now if you want to see how I made them watch the video and I hope you enjoy it and I'm sorry that it's not that good. Bye! So to make the first treats you will need some chocolate, some egg white, some sticks or just one stick that is fine, some caster sugar and a piping bag and the first thing you want to do is pour 100 50 grams of the egg whites into a bowl. Now a few days earlier I did try and do this with an egg and it didn't go so well. I accidentally got the yolk in there. I then continued to make the meringue like this and it didn't work at all and it turns out that if you get the slightest bit of yolk in it won't work so I would definitely recommend buying some pre-done egg whites. So anyway once you have got your egg whites into a bowl you want to whisk the hell out of them. Basically don't stop whisking until it turns into a frothy thick mixture and yeah here I am whisking away. You then want to take 300 grams of caster sugar and gradually bit by bit pour a bit of the sugar into the mixture and then whisk it again and just keep doing that until it's all gone. However, I got bored and then just poured the whole thing in because it would have taken ages and I couldn't be bothered. I ain't got time for that. So I just whisked it up and it made this really thick meringue mixture. So then I got a piping bag and poured the mixture in and I got my mum to help me because otherwise it would have been an epic fail and gone everywhere. And then you've got a piping bag ready to pipe your ghosties, yay. So you then want to take a baking tray that has been lined and it's probably easier for you to see what I'm doing rather than me explain it but you basically want to make a little head and then go back and forth to make the body gradually going down to a point and that is how you make your little ghost shape. So here is a little close up of me doing it, you basically get the gist, it's not exactly hard and then you want to pop them in the oven for about an hour. Once they're out the oven they should look something like this and you just want to take them off the baking tray being really careful because they are super delicate. You then want to melt some chocolate and using your little stick you can draw your face on them. I decided to make mine look cute but you can do whatever you want. You can make them look ugly if you want, it's up to you but this is what I did for mine so I just did a little smiley face and they are so cute. And here are my finished ghost meringues, yay! To make the second DIY you will need some orange sweets, some strawberry laces, some icing, some Oreos and some butter and some vanilla extract, yeah! So first you need to break up your Oreos, this was way harder than I thought, like I was having difficulty here, should it be that hard I don't know but eventually I did it and I just kept going until I had enough, I decided to make six spiders because I felt like it. So you then want to make your butter icing, so I took 100 grams of icing and 50 grams of butter because that would make sense because it's butter icing and a few drops of vanilla extract. So once your icing is made you just want to spoon a little dollop of it on the Oreo biscuits and I broke one there but that's fine, didn't want that one anyway. And then you just want to smooth it out until you've got this kind of mixture on some biscuits, yeah you get the gist. You then want to cut up your strawberry laces, these were way too thick to make spider legs but you know that's life. And I just kept cutting them up into little strips and then stuck them onto the butter icing. Yes, I know spiders have eight legs, but I ain't got room for that. So mine are living the six leg life and they're fine with it. So yeah. So you just want to put the other bit of biscuit on top afterwards and there you've got your spider. However, they need some eyes. So I just put some butter icing on the top of the biscuit and added these little orange balls to make some eyes. And there you have some spider Oreo biscuits. 
How cute are they? Very cute indeed. And for the last DIY, you will need some donuts, some more of them orange balls, some more icing, some teeth sweets, some white chocolate buttons and plain chocolate buttons, and some green and purple icing colouring stuff. So you basically want to make some more icing, but I just used the leftover from the previous DIY, and I just put half of it in one bowl and made it purple with this food colouring. And then I made the other half green because I thought those were quite Halloween colours, but obviously you can use whatever colour you want. You then just want to whack it on your donuts, smear it all over them, make them all colourful and nice, and I made an absolute mess, but oh well, that's life. And yeah, you will then have some coloured donuts. And I did two purple ones and two green ones, but again, do whatever you fancy, there are no rules here. So once your donuts are covered, you want to take the two giant white chocolate buttons and put them on the donut and then add two of the smaller brown ones to make some eyes. You then want to whack on a mouth, just like that, and then add some orange balls to make it look ugly and spotty and gross because it's Halloween and it's meant to look scary. Here's another shot of me doing it in case you didn't catch that, although I'm sure you did because it's pretty simple. <laughs> Obviously you can put anything you want on yours, I just thought this looked really cool. And look how cute they are, I really like this one, I think they look pretty cool. So that is how I made my Halloween treats and I hope you enjoyed watching me make them but for now I'm gonna try them and I bet they taste rubbish. <laughs> Everything I make tastes rubbish. So first I'm gonna try what is it called? Like I literally can't think. I literally cannot remember what this is called right now. I keep wanting to say pavlova. Meringue, meringue, meringue. <laughs> so first I'm going to try one of these meringue ghost things and I wonder what that's going to taste like. Hmm. I don't want to eat his head, he's too cute. I think I'm going to eat his bum. It tastes like meringue because that's really all it is, a piece of meringue, but they're cute. They look cute. Next I have one of my little Oreo spiders, so I'm going to try one. It tasted like an Oreo with buttercream in it with sweets on it. And lastly I've got my donuts with faces on them and I think these ones look the coolest. It's got hair stuck to it, but not very appetising. I'm gonna take a bite out of it and you know, again, what's this one gonna taste like? Probably a donut. It tasted like a donut with icing on it. I don't know why I just did that little thing in my outro, it wasn't very exciting and I think I'm gonna go now because I've got nothing more to say to you. <laughs> So if you did enjoy this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. And if you'd like me to do some more DIY videos in the future, let me know. I can't think why you'd want me to because it's not really my forte, but I gave it my best shot and ow, my spider stabbed me. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you next week. Bye.